Shalom and welcome to Simmons of Torah. This year is entitled True Rabbinic Leadership According to Rav Aaron Lechtenstein, Zeich Tzadik Levracha. 2012, shortly before he passed away, one of his last major, major lectures, he spoke about Das Torah, a very, very common term over the last century or two, about rabbinic leadership, that you have to follow whatever the rabbi, whatever the gadol says in all areas, political areas, health areas, surgery, just you have to go to your gadol and he'll give you advice and whatever he says. So Rav Luchtenstein in 2012 spoke and it was been written up. Hebrew, I think, is translated to English as well. It's available online. What is true Das Torah? So he goes ahead, he first explains that the different opinions emerged over the years and from the Chazal, the Masorah itself, not so clear. Yes, you have to listen to them. Maybe that's only in a Psak and Beitin. Rambam and Mamim says a Psak in the Big Beitin, Beitin Agadol, the Sanhedrin, that can affect everyone, but is it anywhere outside of Psak? And Ravaran says three, three approaches emerged over the years, and he's fine with all three in theory. One is it's just technical Psak. One is the other extreme. Anything that the rabbis of Gedolim say, you must listen to no matter what area. It could be in terms of finances. It could be in terms of uh, danger. It could be in terms of uh, going to uh, yeshivas during a crisis, during corona. And that doesn't matter. You have a chiv, listen no matter what. Then he quotes Ralph Feldman from Baltimore. It said, it may not be an absolute chiv to listen. Obligation technically to listen to them in any area, but it would be tipshu. It's foolish not to. These are the people who are Kula Torah. So Ravon says those are three approaches that exist in the world of Das Torah. Okay, either it's only purely in halachic areas, it's in every area, it's an absolute of obligation, or just that's what one should do out of just decency, common sense. Okay. Then he says, whatever approach one holds, one thing that must be in order to have Das Torah, where the person, the rabbi, the gadol is a giant, and his das is religious, and in Torah, that's what you go by. You need to have das, dalat ayin tav, knowledge. And Rav Aaron quotes Gemara after Gemara. If you don't have das, if you don't have knowledge, you'd feel as nothing. If you don't have das as a human being, you're nothing. If you don't have das as a manhig, you're missing out. If you don't have as a leader, you're missing. If you don't have Das, knowledge, you can't have Das, Torah. Unless you start saying, well, this Gadol, even without knowledge in that specific area, somehow mystically he knows it all, even though he never learned it. Ravaran does not embrace that approach. He does not embrace that approach. And he quotes of Hutner, Zech Tzadak Levrach, his rabbi from Chaim Berlin, who told him, that a, a Tamachachim, who might be a Gadol in Torah, if he doesn't have knowledge and understanding in a specific area he's talking about, he's way off. Way off. And he used Harif's strong words about that. He was doing his shiva for his wife that he spoke to Rav Aaron. Rav Aaron came to meet him and sit with him and knock him and console him. So Rav Aaron says, whatever theological approach one has to dat Torah, das Torah, Whatever approach one has, you need das first. Dalit, ayin, tough. And if you don't have that, there's no dust to her. And he says, you had manhigim over the generations who understood the people, understood their needs, were with them, lived with them, had a relation with them, and understood their lives. And woe to those who didn't. Woe to the and the Gemara and Brachot where he was criticized by another Gadol who said, you don't understand the people. You can't relate to the people. Woe to generation where there's a leader who doesn't understand the people, cannot work with the people. And Rabbi Aaron said that that kind of a person, a Gadol who knows the people, works with the people, understands the people, understands the sciences, whatever he's involved in, and has the ability to say, any other day, I don't know this specific topic, then they could be a leader. He said that was Rosh Hashanah Orbach. Shomaz Orbach understood people, understood their needs, understood science, understood electricity. He could paskin in these areas. And he was able to say certain times, any day, this is not my field. I don't know. 
So Rav says that's a leader. And if you're going to embrace the extreme position of Das Torah, maybe with Rav Shlomo Zaman Orbach, Rav Aaron says, I can hear that. Because his Das Torah was based on Das, not just on knowing all the Kola Torah Kula, the whole Torah, but on understanding people, human needs, human nature. Science is when that's what was needed. So that's a Das Torah I can accept. But someone who doesn't understand, who's been in Kola 50, 60, 70 years in his own little cocoon, and all of a sudden, because he knows Kola Torah Kula, he knows all of the Torah, now all of a sudden he's the leader, and he doesn't really understand the people, what they need to get by. Having a family of 15 people and can't support with no way to support, but being told just keep having children. Reverend says, Someone who gave them this direction and they have to go collect and live in poverty and hunger and can't get by and knocking on people's doors. No. Rabbi that is not Das Torah. Because it's not based on Da'at. Da'at ain't tough of understanding people and city economics and how people could live and how people could get by. So that's Rabbi his approach of Das Torah. It's an amazing article from 2012. And now during this corona crisis, people talking about leadership and guidance from Gedolan in areas where it's very much involved in health, in science, in virus, how it spreads, what we should do. Should we go ahead and get into the bunkers of our homes? Should we be out in the yeshiva? Should we be out publicly davening in shuls and kolels and getting together and not being careful about all the rules from Misrat HaDatot, from the Ministry of Health, because what do they know anyway? My God all knows more than them. So I think Rav Aaron's ideas should be revisited and looked into from 2012. From Tav Shinayim Bet. And consider it during these times, and now even among some of the rabbinic leadership in the Das Torah world, some are saying, yes, time to go back to yeshivas and the kolels and everything back, and that's what's going to save us. And even some of Adel seems heavily in that world, is saying, no, no, time out, no, 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 no. I even investigated that there's a lot of danger here. So here's a man who's trying to find out what the facts and the science is. So it's a topic that really should be revisited, looked into, and I heavily, strongly suggest take a look at Ravon's article. I can give a summary of a 17-page article in three, four minutes. Not doing real justice, but at least to get a taste of this giant's attitude towards Dat Torah, Das Torah. Shalom.